So last night was President Trump's State of the Union speech, and it was filled with pretty much the usual, uh, you know, at least except for the calls for unity with the Democrats, which I actually found really hilarious because it's him saying, don't investigate me, don't investigate me. But look, the rest of it, again, was standard fare, fear, demagoguery, and straight-up fabrications, right? But the right-wing audience actually generally enjoyed it. In fact, 74% of viewers liked the speech. Well, I'm not shocked because most people who decided to turn, tune in and watch the speech, well, they were Trump supporters. You know, I think uh, you know, a lot of the people of the, that are part of the resistance or a lot of progressives really wanted to sit back and watch this guy, did you? No, of course. Most of us would rather pull our hair out if we had any. <laughs> that is. But anyway, uh, there was one critic from the right wing uh, who was not impressed by this, and that's Ann Coulter. Now, throughout the entire speech, she hammered Trump on Twitter. Uh, now, let me give you a sampling of some of these tweets. Um, she said, 45 minutes in, we got 30 seconds on the wall. He better be breaking ground tomorrow. Now, that's the one thing Ann Coulter has ever wanted, is for Trump to build a wall and to keep the brown people out of America. So, in fact, she's like, that's the only reason that we supported and voted for this lunatic. That is a quote from her. So now... As far as the wall, no, sorry, Ann, it's not happening. For one, you don't actually know how government works because you can't just go and build a wall without funding. Unless, of course, you, Ann Coulter, you want to pay for it? You want to pay for it out of your pocket? Donald Trump's not planning to pay, out of it, uh, pay for it out of his pocket. So do you want to fund the wall? Go ahead. <laughs> now, during that same speech, uh, Trump brought up Venezuela. Now, he said... That, quote, America will never be a socialist country. That's funny because I don't think he understands how police, firefighters, the military, and social programs work. No. No, in reality, of course, it's a BS talking point because the United States and a lot of other countries, actually, are mixed market economies. We have both socialism and capitalism um, in the various different things that we do. So, hmm, okay. Uh, now... And, of course, responded to that by saying, if you don't, she says, wrong, if you don't build a wall and deport illegals, we'll be a socialist country in about five years. Nice words, though. Really? So, again, a deep misunderstanding of actual facts, right? A lot of immigrants that come in, undocumented or not, they actually end up creating businesses. And especially if you're talking immigrants from Mexico, Honduras, El Salvador, look, a lot of them are actually deeply religious, right? Deeply Christian, uh, not Muslim. No, they're Christian. And actually, if Republicans stopped being racist, they would actually be able to have grounds to appeal to some of these immigrants, right? Because they would be more socially conservative. But they're more worried about hating brown people because they're brown. Because right now, look, Democrats do get a, uh, an advantage in legal immigrants. Undocumented immigrants can't vote. They don't vote. And, you, and, and it's been proven that they don't. We don't have any cases of undocumented immigrants coming in and doing voter fraud. Unlike what, of course, people like Ann Coulter love to say. Uh, but look, not only that, but you have a lot of undocumented immigrants that are very, very hardworking. And what they're doing is that they're escaping uh, drug gangs and, and, and death squads, and they just want to make a new, better future for their family, right? Now, in the case of Cubans, Cubans are also immigrants, right? Now, the Cuban community, they're actually more likely to despise socialism because of uh, escaping Castro. So, but again, oh no, we're going to have socialism if we let undocumented immigrants in the country and stay. Idiot. Anyway. Uh, there's more. She said, uh, in response, of course, to, um, you know, uh, taking on uh, ISIS and national security, she said, Americans in America killed by ISIS, zero. Well, that's actually correct. So, hey, look, we don't have a problem with uh, Muslim extremism 
Thanks for pointing that out, Anne. But she does say, Americans in America killed by illegals. Tens of thousands. Bring the troops home and get them building the wall. Except that they can't. Um, but no, look, that's not true. She made up that number. White supremacists actually accounted for the largest share of killings last year. White supremacists. And that's, of course, extremist killings, right? Um, undocumented immigrants, as far as general crime goes, actually commit less crime, less murders than native-born Americans. But oh, you don't talk about any of those things, do you? Oh, no, no, of course not. And neither does Donald Trump. But anyway, she says, finally, Golden Beaches of California, this was the lamest, sappiest, most intentionally tear-jerking State of the Union ever. Please fire your speechwriter. You know what I love? Republican on Republican crime. Mm, smells good in the morning. Look, right now, here's the thing. Trump, he's not getting his wall. Ann Coulter, you're not getting the wall. There's literally no path for him to do so. And he's going to try and declare a national emergency. Well, that's probably also not going to work. Look, what Trump is doing is he's doing what he does best. He's trying to save his own skin. Now, why do you think he was calling for unity and reaching out to the Democrats? Because he doesn't want to get investigated because what we're going to find is some, some shady things. They're looking at going after his taxes. Not only that, but looking at, of course, and what I would look at is money laundering. That would be the biggest thing that you would look of when it comes to Donald Trump. Now, but again... Who else called for an end to investigations during their State of the Union? We've seen this movie before. It's Richard Nixon. The parallels between Trump and Nixon are amazing. Uh, and so I think he's got a few more things to worry about than building his wall. <laughs> but of course, Anne and, you know, can complain and yell and hate tweet all, all she wants. But she is not getting her racist wall. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.